Belle had been mistakenly accused of committing crimes and was being tracked down by savage dogs because of it. Only Sebastian knew that she was innocent. Will Belle ever be able to escape her hunters and run safely to freedom? He escaped again. And no thanks to you, that's for sure. <gasps> so she's still alive then? Well. You mischief maker, keeping us so worried. I'll spank you so hard. Oh no, please, Anne Marie. I get scared in the barn. Ow! Oh. Oh. You're being grounded, and you're not getting supper tonight either. Wait, Anne Marie. You don't have to be so tough with the boy. Well, you're always spoiling him. Someone has to teach him discipline. Yes, but I... Would you like to go in there and join him? Uh, no, thanks. Uh, maybe some other time. Be, be quiet, Sebastian! It's no use. Don't cry, Poochie. I wonder how Bell managed to escape. We cannot maintain order if this white monster slipped through our fingers. So we'll have to separate into small groups and hunt her down. A considerable sum will be paid to the successful hunters. So then we've got to get her dead or alive. That's what we're going to worry about. Go. That price money is ours. It's in the bag. We'll go track her down ourselves. Paul, what do you say we team up? Hmm? Sure. Is Sebastian out somewhere? It's okay. Don't worry. I've really got him this time. Believe me. That's good. He shouldn't go out. They're hunting the wild dog again. Sebastian should stay right where he is. Well, Philip, you can certainly set your mind to rest this time. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. So where is he now? He's in the barn. In the barn? Mm-hmm. I locked him in there as punishment. He's getting used to it by now. Oh, no. Hmm? What are you doing in there? Pushy, <laughs> where are you? <laughs> You little squirt. <laughs> Where'd you go? Wait! Hold it! Hold on! Huh? Huh? Oh, I've got you now! <laughs> uh, oh, no! <laughs> oh, Anne Marie! Can I please go out now? You're going to stay here for as long as I tell you to! Shall we head off? The chief's being pretty insistent. Oh, yeah. Let's go. I think I'll try going this way. Hmm. In that case, I'll go the other way. To be honest, I hope I don't bump into that beast.
What's wrong, Paul? It seems like something's on your mind. Mm, yes. I just ran into that wild dog. What? That dangerous one? Hmm. But he might not be as dangerous as we thought after all. What do you mean he's not dangerous? He had a chance to attack me and he didn't do it. Oh, Paul, I find that hard to believe. You know, Sebastian was right all along. And I may even owe that dog my life, Anne-Marie. Nightfall brings peace to the mountain ranges and also to an exhausted Sebastian. <laughs> I bet you're hungry too, eh, Poochie? But she won't change her mind. Sebastian, are you awake? <gasps> Grandpa! Grandpa! Uh -huh. What are you up to? Oh, why, nothing. Now, you weren't planning on letting that little rascal out, were you? Oh, no, no, no. Because he'll just get into trouble again. Well, would you like to tell me what you're here for? Who, me? Well, I just came to see whether or not Sebastian was behaving well. What? So, you should just relax and go back to bed, all right? What's this stuff? Oh, haven't you ever seen sandwiches? I know what they are. I don't want them. I didn't bring them for you anyway. They're for Poochie. <coughs> Listen, this doesn't mean I've decided to excuse your misbehavior. Remember that. <coughs> You don't really want any of this awful food Anne-Marie brought, do you, Poochie? Huh? You do? I bet it's terrible. Well, then you go ahead and eat what you want. But I'm not eating. Huh? Poochie, if you don't chew that, you'll get an awful stomachache. Oh, so you do have a stomach ache. You should stop gobbling that way. Doing. I bet she must be getting real hungry and tired by now. The next morning, Sebastian has made up his mind. Okay, Poochie, go ahead. Go get it. Go. Over there. Go get that wire over there. Poochie, that wire. Go get that wire. Poochie, don't fool around, okay? Please get the wire. No, no, no. Don't get the nuts. The wire right behind you. Yes, yes, that's it. Yes. You did it. That's a good puppy. <laughs> Oh. 
Sebastian knows what he must do. He quietly sneaks inside and packs up enough food and other things he might need for a long trip. Just before he leaves, he looks around at his home for what he knows may be the last time. Let's go! Bell? Where is she? Grandpa, this is awful. Uh -huh. Sebastian's not in the barn. What? He unfastened the door with a piece of wire. <laughs> now that's a pretty clever trick. Grandpa, this is really not a laughing matter. He's gone up to join that wild dog again. Well, you'll be just fine. The dog is truly harmless with Sebastian. Anne-Marie! Anne-Marie, I hope you have Sebastian locked up safely somewhere. What? The posse is out hunting the dog again. Hunting? They can't be. Don't tell me he's run off. Mm-hmm. He ran away to the mountains again. To the mountains? But the hunters are determined to track down that animal and kill it this very day. What if Sebastian gets in their line of fire? He could be hurt. <gasps> Grandpa! Far up in the mountains, Sebastian won't give up his search for Belle. What's up, Paul? It looks to me like your thoughts are a million miles away. It's nothing. Sergeant! Don't lag behind. That dog will be here any moment. Yes, sir. Gotta hurry. Oh! 
are starting to catch up. You should go on alone. Uh, go ahead, Belle, go! He's going to fall. You'll be all right. Just have a little faith in him. Sebastian, huh? at last we've been looking everywhere for you. Uh. Be scared. Anne Marie's all right. No, Belle, no. Be nice, good dog. That's my grandpa. It's nice to meet you, finally. <coughs> Let's be friends, all right? Wow. I'm so sorry. I should have believed you. And Marie, I can't breathe. Still, you got us so worried. I know, and I'm sorry, but I really had to go help Belle. I understand. So why don't we all go home right now? <gasps> Belle, run! Oh, come back, Sebastian! I'm sorry, Anne Marie. Sebastian, Sebastian! Mm. Hey, old geezer, what have you done with the white devil? A white devil? I've never seen one of those. You can't make jokes with me. We all just saw Sebastian down here with the dog, and you were right here with him. Oh, I think what you saw was a white rabbit rather than a white devil. Right above their heads, a frightened threesome travels a treacherous path. Thank you, Belle. Huh? Chief, the dogs just went off towards the border trail. Ah, that's good. That trail's a dead end with a barbed wire fence. Hold it. 
Please stay here, I beg you. I know that animal is absolutely harmless, and I can't let you kill it. Old man, if you don't move, I'm going to arrest you for interfering with the law and throw you in jail. I'll stand by you, Grandpa. I won't let you pass. Paul, you shouldn't do that. And I intend to stand right here until the truth comes out. That dog is not a white devil like you think. Please try to understand. You're all wrong. Finally, Sebastian and Anne-Marie cross the last hill and make it to the end of the road, a fence topped with barbed wire. Sebastian goes on. Stop, Sebastian! That's the border! You can't cross over it! Sebastian! <gasps> If you cross over this border, you'll be leaving the village, your home. Are you leaving, no matter what? Sebastian! If we stay, they're going to kill Belle! I can't let that happen. Sebastian, I've raised you ever since you were a little baby. Where will you go? Who will take care of you? Anne-Marie, I love you so much. Please, understand and let me go. Say yes. <gasps> Sebastian. Oh, oh. Stay safe, Sebastian. I'll miss you. Sebastian. And so Sebastian and his gentle Belle crossed safely over the border to escape the guns of the angry hunters. Sebastian understood that that was the only way to protect Belle. But he also decided that this was his chance to begin searching for his mother. Neither of them knew what the future would bring, but Belle and Sebastian were setting off on a series of adventures they would never forget.